Hello again everyone. I'm here for a quick unboxing of a new platinum fountain pen and I'm also going to ink it up. This is a platinum 3776 century with a music nib. It'll be my first music nib so I'm really excited about that. I'm going to be inking it up with Sailor Gentle Epinard ink that I unboxed recently on the channel. I'll put a link down below to that video as well. So let's go ahead and get in here. I already took, there was some tape along the box and I already took that off. So let's go ahead and check this pen out. That is pretty. It's just the standard black body on the pen. And there we go. So let's take a look. This, so it's a music nib I believe the reason why it's called a music nib is so that you can write music notes with it. Uh, it's sort of like a stub, but it has a little bit of a different shape. It has two slits in the nib here, one on either side. Let's see if I can get even closer and show you. Super pretty. So my understanding is that this does not have a lot of flex, if any at all. Um, so it probably will act more like a stub than anything else. There are some music nibs that are flexible, but I do not believe that this is one of them. So I'm going to go ahead, yeah, and it comes with a cartridge or a, a converter. I saw that in the description and I was surprised that it came with it. I was not expecting it, but here it is. <laughs> it is actually in here. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this guy up. I have a little tissue off to the side that I already have a bunch of ink on so I will do that all right so this particular jar if you turn it upside down and then turn it right side up it will fill up a little inner inner pot there where you can stick your fountain pen in so let's see if that is gonna be enough oh no I think I need to I, think I need to do that again because it's not deep enough for this nib do that a few times and see if that made a difference yes okay so that is more full let's see if I can fill it now oh no that's still not tall enough well I guess I am seeing a downside to this system <laughs> with this particular top let's see if I can do it just sideways and get more in there it still seems to be at the same level I may have to turn it sideways when I'm filling it Let's see. Okay, now that's full to the top. Okay, that's better. So I just need to rock it back and forth there. Oh no, that was just a bubble. Ugh. Okay, but it's filling fine. And it actually filled all the way to the top. So that's not an issue. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe off the pen a little bit. And then I'm gonna do some testing. I have my little Tomoe River notebook over here to test it out. I'm going to put that ink off to the side. Put the back back on here. But yeah, I was really happy to hear that it came with a um, converter because generally they don't and then you have to end up buying a converter separately, which is kind of a hassle. Okay. Well, not just a hassle, it costs more. <laughs> Okay, so I generally post these, and that feels pretty good in my hand. So, let's see. Let's see what we can get here. Okay, so that is the downstroke, and then the side stroke should be a little bit thinner. Oh, it's really broad. This particular ink, too, is really wet. Let's see if I can do it at an angle and get a little bit of a... So what, for music notes, which I did not buy this for, <laughs> you can go down and then, so it's supposed to be thick and thin, essentially, so that you can write musical notes. In theory, just with one stroke, but I don't know, I think you'd probably have to do more than one stroke for the musical note there. So this is a platinum 3776. So 
do black letters to see if that century with a music nib. Oh, that ink is lovely. Okay, so this is the Sailor Gentle ink in Epinard. All right, so that is really pretty. Let's see, there's not as much variation as I was expecting with the music nib. It does write beautifully though. It flows really nicely. And if I write fast, it keeps up. This is gonna use a ton of ink, I can tell already, <laughs> because of the wide line. So I'm not sure I would use this for everyday writing, but it does look really pretty. And because I tend to, well, generally my, my handwriting is probably sort of medium size. So this is probably a little big for my handwriting in cursive, especially. Uh, it looks like it works maybe a little bit better with block lettering. But let me see, let me, let me write the ink name. Let me put this flat again. It's, sometimes if it has a little ridge like that, I won't write well. Okay, so Sailor Gentle Ink. Ink. Epinard. And I wonder too, if depending on how you hold it, if I put it to the side, yeah. If I put it to the side, it actually writes smaller and that might actually be a good way to write with this sort of as an everyday pen. So if I put it like that. So that's the ink. We shouldn't write that anymore. Let's see, platinum. Yeah. Yeah, I actually really like the way it writes sideways like that. All right, so this is a new experience, but I think I like it. I have been gravitating towards bolder and thicker lines in my fountain pens, and this definitely delivers on that. And plus you get to see this lovely, lovely ink in a pen that shows it off really well. That really is a nice ink. I don't think that this video really does it justice. In person, it's super beautiful. Looking a little more dull on the camera there. Okay, well that's it for today. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you again next time. I might do a future video comparing nibs. Uh, I have a couple of other Platinum 776s at this point, so I, uh, I am looking forward to that. Another nib that I might like to get is the Coarse nib. I have seen some people writing with that nib on YouTube and it's really beautiful. Again, it's more like a bold nib. It's not truly coarse, so um, We'll see. All thoughts for the future. We'll see how it goes. All right. Thanks again. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye.